Merry Christmas. You're listening to the Mike and Josh show here on Facebook. I have my daughter sitting uh, on one I can't tell. Standing. Right She's standing on your me. left. Yeah, she's standing on my left. And I got Josh on my right. And I'm just a big pimp daddy, big Mike in the middle. So what makes you so special that you get to sit in the middle? Because I'm bigger and fatter. Ah. You're, you're kind of like the Christmas tree and we're the presents. <laughs> <laughs> so do I get to open you up? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Gotta get the bow off first. All right. Speaking of Christmas trees, <laughs> since I can't open Josh up, Ooh, that's <laughs> we've uh, we've been hearing a lot about it, and this it goes on every year. But it seems like Christmas this year, yeah, it does. Yeah, and the fat man. But it seems like every year. But this year it seems like the whole Christmas happy or uh, Merry Christmas and Happy Holiday thing is like. Yeah, I've even heard Merry Holidays. Merry Holiday. <laughs> I don't even sound right. No, I. <laughs> But since we've had mm-hmm. the president in office, and he, I think he called he wants it. The, he it's a holiday tree. Holiday tree. He, he lit the holiday tree. He's a flaming liberal, liberal is what he is. Liberal. I'm a redneck. So, Mike, tell me this. Say you're an atheist. You don't believe in God. I'm a Christian. We go through the whole year. We have Valentine's Day. We say Happy Valentine's Day. We have Easter. We say Happy Easter or whatever Easter. We have Fourth of July. Happy Fourth of July. We have Memorial Day. We have all the big celebrations. Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Halloween. Happy Halloween. And then we have Christmas. If you were just in public and you heard me say Merry Christmas, would it just offend you so bad that you felt like you've been your civil rights have been violated? No. Thank you. <laughs> if someone says Merry Christmas to me, I look them dead in their eye and I say Merry Christmas to you too. And, and it's that simple. Why in the world, out of all the holidays we have all year long, which we all know is just a way for the stores to make a lot of money, right? why is it that on the one holiday that Christians really celebrate, and what we also celebrate Easter, we don't say anything about that, but why do, they, why do liberals... And atheists have such a big problem with us saying Merry Christmas. Because they like the Easter Bunny better. <clears throat> Most likely. And, too, some people say that that came from some satanic holiday back in... Because everywhere you look... 340 B.C. Everywhere you look, they're trying to take Christ out of everything. Out of school. Right. Out of the courthouse. Right. Uh, pretty much out of everything. Even sports, look at Tim Tebow. That's right. They don't want no, uh, no Christians professing they their talk, faith. In, they talk bad about him all the time. And you know what? I love him. Amen. I'm becoming a Broncos fan, by the Amen, way. Amen, brother. Oh, yeah. We're going to have church up in here. Hold up now. <laughs> Pass the offer and play the round first. <laughs> Kenley, you got some money? <laughs> no? Okay. Here in the South, you know, uh, some church services, you have to take up two or three offerings. Before the service is over. That's there. how long, it, you know, the more money, the longer the service. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. But, but you know, that we, <laughs> we're not offending any church. It's just a joke, I promise. Yeah, it's just good Southern talk. How um, some, you know, you have like the Baptists that they get out first and uh, they're the first ones to the restaurants and the Methodists get out. Or is the Methodists first? It's one of those first, then it's the other one. Then you have the Pentecostals that get out at like two. Yeah. Because they have like the three hour long church service. We're but, screaming uh, and hollering up and down the. the oh aisles. yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm Pentecost. Hey, so. he's Pentecost. Pentecostal. Why don't you something? <laughs> I'm a hooping and but, a hollering and a jumping and a screaming and whatever. So here, there's a there's a question for you: Is it ever going to be wrong to be too churchy? Are they no. ever, are they ever going to like uh, pass a law that says you can't have a church for more than so many hours? No, I believe if you're sincere and everything, that church there's no new too churchy. Yeah. But if they start passing laws like that, then it's going to be, and they'll probably get to it because you know if you read the Bible, it, it it's yeah. going to come and, to that. And and while we're on this this subject on this route, um, another thing, a lot of people say that oh well that's that's never going to happen, or you're crazy for thinking stuff like that. But whenever people talk about what could happen, mm-hmm. but the thing is, think about think back. 60, 70, 80 years ago. What's going on right now? And people back then were most likely saying, that would never happen in America. <laughs> yeah. And look how far we have come. Yep. 
So who's to say that what we're saying now won't ever happen will eventually happen? No one knows. You can't say that it isn't because you don't really know. It's going to happen. It's written. It's going to happen. There you go. If you are a believing Christian, you do uh, right. believe that. And uh, I believe that 100%. I mean, like you said, you look in the past and look now. and I mean, watch TV. I mean, back even when we were younger now you can see half a boob on tv yeah <laughs> <laughs> back i remember watching some of the episodes of andy griffith and it wouldn't even show a man and woman lay in the same bed together no. if they were husband and wife on the show they'd have to sleep in separate beds and <laughs> my wife look where sleep in separate now beds. now it, it wouldn't be acceptable to have a show with them in separate beds because <laughs> They want that steamy hot stuff. You can't even you can't even have a good action movie without a just steamy romance in it right. anymore. Especially if you got a family with kids. Yeah, and us guys, we just want a good action flick. That's right. I mean, we like the women, but you know, we like yeah. all that action. And there's some coming up, and we're going to talk about those in in future shows. Oh yeah. I was looking them up on YouTube, and and uh, I'm excited about some of the movies that are coming out. Oh yeah, uh, ex- the Expendables two. Yeah, I seen that one. Talking and, about uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, mm-hmm. Bruce Willis. If, I tell me if I'm wrong, or did I see that Jackie Chan may even be in this one? The what? The girl with the dragon ah, tattoo. There's another one. That's now that's a, ain't that a remake? That's a remake. Of something. I'm not positive. I was reading. It something. could be about half the movies nowadays are, but they're yeah, pretty good. They run out of ideas. Yeah. But I say the movies that I seen was uh, another Ghost Rider. Ooh, with Nicolas Cage. Mm-hmm. Um, I seen uh, the Hobbit. It's uh, a connection to the Lord, Lord of the, the Rings. Rings stuff. Oh, sweet! I haven't heard about that. I seen the Expendables too. Not to mention this weekend opening uh, in two days, Mission Impossible: Ghost Protocol oh, with Tom Cruise. I want to say he's a crazy dude, but I like his movies. Pretty awesome. I still want to jump off the side of a building now. <laughs> not 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 to kill myself, but just uh, after watching him do it, it looks so cool. Well, we do got the five story plaza. Uh, you know, I don't know if it's high <laughs> enough. If I wanted to use like a parachute or something, it, it wouldn't happen. You just come, oh, it, it wouldn't open in time. Like, yeah. Oh man, but uh, you it, know, you know what I'm going to do? What, what, I'm going to climb to the top of the five story plaza and throw a Christmas tree off into the middle of the road and scream "Merry Christmas!" <laughs> and, tell, and whoever it hit, I hope they. I hope they're, they're atheists. This is your holiday tree. <laughs> <laughs> Call it what you want, but it's yours. Oh man! Well, enough about the Christmas stuff because this is what this is. Uh, what, Tuesday, Wednesday. This is Today's Wednesday. 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 Time is so flying Christmas by. Christmas is Sunday. Oh God! And, I, haven't, uh, I haven't bought all my Christmas gifts yet. Uh oh! I hope nobody's listening. Uh oh! But I got all mine. And Santa Claus is bringing the rest. That's right. Yeah, Santa. Yeah. <laughs> Good old Santa. Well, Josh, um, I've been looking at, and I know I called you the other day, and I was telling you about the whole Ron Paul thing, and I was asking about it, and uh, what's the what's the skinny on that? Well, from what I understand, the Iowa caucus that's coming up um, the, like the first or second week of January, it's the actual first primary um, in the whole country, and from the Iowa poll is the latest one I saw. Ron Paul is actually running a very close second place to New Gingrich. And now today I saw the New Hampshire poll, which is for the New Hampshire primary that's um, r- right after the Iowa caucus. And Ron Paul is in that poll. He's like in a fairly close third place with Romney and Gingrich being in front. He's uh, he's gained a lot of traction just in the past two weeks. Hmm. And he's a very controversial fellow. Some people are loving him. Some people are completely hating him. Well, that's what I was going to ask is what, what's the difference about him and Newt? Newt is, I hate to say this, he's a good old Georgia boy. Yeah. But he ain't a whole lot different from any other Democrat. He, uh, I mean, there's even videos of him doing uh, commercials for in support of global warming alongside Nancy Pelosi, which any conservative would almost – hate because no one likes Nancy Pelosi she was the biggest liberal if I may idiot out there <laughs> I mean the woman was right. nuts and but he he aligned himself just a few years ago this is like 2005 ish hmm. that he did stuff like that with her and I better not say with her because it sounds <laughs> like something else which 
Who He's knows? Done that before. <laughs> Who knows? I mean, they say Herman Cain did it, but uh, uh, Ron Paul is one of the biggest things that people don't like his stance on uh, national defense. He's he's all about isolationism, which is he believes we should bring all the troops home from everywhere in the world and just take care of us, isolate America from from everybody else. And a lot of people agree with that. And sometimes I almost agree agree with it myself, except for the for the fact that places like Korea, we have troops in South Korea, That's which are they're only there to help protect and help keep North Korea from invading them. In check. Yeah, keeping them in check. So if we were to pull all those troops home, I think it's somewhere around 25,000 troops we have over there. If we pulled all those home, then North Korea at any time could just come and sweep it down and take over South Korea. Well, I think I agree with that. I, and I do agree about keeping us home and keeping more of the soldiers home. And that would actually cut costs too, right? Oh, yeah. Um, if I'm not mistaken, the, the Iraq war alone over the past seven or eight years cost us right at a trillion Ooh. Dollars, I believe. That'll and look good on the uh, the debt we got. Yeah, but uh, but here's the sad part: is that uh, even though that sounds like a lot of money, compare it to the fourteen or almost fifteen trillion dollars in debt yeah. we have now, which most of that comes from programs that usually mostly Democrat support. You, yeah. We we keep throwing more money at Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, and stuff like that, and uh. Then, of course, you have all the retarded stuff like giving money to help teach second graders about sex ed, and I won't go into too much detail of what they do, but uh, we give money to help other countries perform abortions, mm. and what's the point? No. I mean, we should be taking care of ourselves yeah. first, yeah, especially, I, especially I believe, when you're in yeah. debt. I believe in helping others, but I mean, <clears throat> there's a point where enough's enough. I mean, yeah. you know, like, I mean, I understand you got, you know, you got people like over in Africa and stuff like that, that they're going hungry, they're starving. But hadn't they already been over there teaching them how to farm? Yeah, um, Uganda. There, there's one country right there that we have had a military presence in for a while that people don't know about. Not not a huge force, but we're only there to provide support and to help train their soldiers. But all they do is like, there's one warlord that comes to power, and he becomes like a dictator, and then another one rises up to overthrow him. They overthrow him and kill a bunch of people, a bunch of civilians, and they become a dictator. Then another one rises up, and this is a back and forth, and all we do is pick the side that we want to win. Yeah. But if they start losing, then we just change sides. Well, ain't Cuba doing fine by themselves? I, <laughs> I mean, they got... I yeah, don't know. yeah. Of course just they just do let them all of, fend for themselves. That's, yeah. You know, some people would argue that survival of the fittest is the way to go. And That's how it started. And here's while we're kind of on this track, I just thought about this, and I hope this guy, well, if he's listening to fine, I'm not going to say his name, but the guy came in the gym yesterday that I went to school with. And <clears throat> it kind of surprised me. We got to talking about, I forgot what it was we started out on, but somehow we ended up on politics. Imagine that. I don't know how we ended up doing that. Mm-hmm. but and, and it actually wasn't me that, that started the conversation. It was mm-hmm. him. And we got to got to talking, and he was talking about all the things that was wrong with the country, and I was we was going back and forth, sharing our ideas and opinions. And he actually said, and I looked at him, trying to see if he was joking, and the guy was not joking at all. He was dead serious. I don't know what he's who he's been listening to, but uh, he actually said that he believes that the only way for us to um, to save ourselves is to let everything collapse and to have a dictatorship installed. In America, and I was like, "Really? <laughs> that's really? That's how you want to preserve the republic by installing wow. a, a, a dictatorship?" And I didn't, I wasn't really sure what to say because I, I knew where it's kind of coming from, and I've that's some of that New World Order stuff, ain't it? Well, some of that, and well, there's actually a guy you may have heard of him, uh, Van Jones, which was the Green Jobs. Czar that oh, Obama yeah, appointed. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, he yeah. he's no longer the czar anymore because he was a little too radical, and everyone started pitching a fit. But now he's out there. He's got all. He's got like the American Dream, of nonprofit thing going, and he's basically influencing that type of stuff. He's trying to teach people that that, that type of thinking is what's going to save us. But it's ridiculous. They're, all they're doing is turning a lot of young people into radicals, 
And well, I believe you, you know, stand up and be radical, but just yeah. make sure you got your stuff in check. I mean, not radical as in like yeah. go crazy. But and, and he also he made. Kinda, a, I mean, like you don't mind speaking your mind on what you believe in. Not at all. I mean, that, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Yeah. Don't sit back and just like, you know. Yeah. And, and, and and he actually says says something. He made an argument, which kind of it goes along with. A, I hear so many people say it. And it's like, well, everybody's got a right to an opinion, and we got to be able to let everybody say what they want to say, and we got to compromise. I say bullcrap, <laughs> because why do you want to compromise with somebody that you know is completely wrong? No. Say say you're on the side of a cliff. And you're a thousand miles from somewhere, and you can't—you don't have gas in your car. You can't—you can't go back, and you see food down in the valley. And one person says, "Well, we need to come up with a plan and try to get down there as safe as possible." And then another guy says, "No, let's just jump off." Do you do you really want to like try to compromise with that guy? Oh, let's just jump halfway. I mean, <laughs> you're not going to do something stupid like that. So I'm sorry, just because somebody has an opinion doesn't mean it's right. I tell him to jump first. <laughs> I'm like, dude, I'm right behind you. <laughs> yeah. Go go for it. Flap your arms. But yeah, it's just it's ridiculous. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I definitely tell him to jump first. <laughs> True. But well, I mean, enough about that, I guess. Uh you know any time that, that you listen out there, if you have your opinion. Your opinion. And uh I mean there's comment sections up under our shows, and you can put your comment. I know Josh has already had a back and forth with one of our. I'll try to refrain from <laughs> commenting <laughs> too much. One of our fans, and and he is a good friend of mine, and and has been for a long time. But he has his views, and we have our views. And, and if and if you're listening, I didn't mean nothing uh, bad by it. Just uh, I just like a good healthy debate. That's right. From time so. to time, it keeps me sharp. <laughs> So if you're listening and you want to debate, hey, he's always up for it. I don't know enough about politics to debate. I'd be just like, I'd just whoop your tail. <laughs> hey, and uh, when it comes down to survival of the fittest, that's what it's all about. I mean, if you can't win the argument, just beat them. That's right. Physically. <laughs> I mean, what do you think we're going to do, the United States, if one day China says, okay, we're going to take over your country because you can't pay your debt. You think we're going to do it, or we're going to like go over there and wipe them out? We're going to have to pick up our guns. And we have to exactly. Go. It's always the guy with the bigger stick. I learned taekwondo. There you go. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, we're going to uh, we're going to uh, make, roll out. Well, we're rolling out, but we're going to make this a two part. Awesome. Because I think we're at like uh, seventeen minutes, and Dang. I think this is a pretty good show. It's uh, it's rolling right on. That's right. So. Uh, Go uh, take a pee, get you something to snack on, and uh, we'll be right back at you. You're listening to the Mike and Josh Show.